Hello, Toby. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm tired, but I'm good. How are you? Good. This is a very awkward start to the podcast. Why? It's very formal. I never do this. Why I normally you just do that? start. I don't know. Why do I get that energy? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to cheer you up. You look tired. You don't need to cheer me up. I'll cheer myself up. I'm good. Okay. Well, welcome to the podcast. Thank we were you for talking before we started rolling mm-hmm. about when we first met. Now, mm-hmm. I don't know how you think we first met, but my first memory was years ago and it was at Wireless. And I think really? I was thinking about starting YouTube. So our friend Sev, who was a mutual friend, was like, oh, I'm going to YouTube. Us. Yeah. Ah. So when did you think we first met? My first recollection of us meeting. I've seen you at different events. I think I saw you at Sev's birthday one time. Probably, yeah. Um, But my first like real interaction with you was when you needed to upload a video. <gasps> I remember this. Do you remember? Yeah. You tell the story. Okay, so I'd started YouTube at this point. We followed each other because obviously we've had several encounters through our friend Seth, so obviously mutual friends. Mm -hmm. And I was panicking because I just started YouTube. I was like, I need to stick to my upload schedule because it was every Wednesday and a Sunday. And that one day my Wi-Fi had broken and I was probably having a meltdown on my story because I was like, no, the world's going to end if I don't upload. And you were like, come and use my Wi-Fi. Bearing in mind, we probably had said hello before, but we'd never properly Didn't met. Didn't know each other. Either. So, and I always tell people, I'm like, no, I really rate Toby for that. Cause like he literally let a stranger into his house. It's really weird. Don't get any ideas. I'm not letting any of you into my yard. So. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I literally just came around with my USB, uploaded my video. And then dipped. And then dipped. <laughs> that was that. It's a very strange It's really strange. But actually my, my, well, one of my first friends that I ever made when I first moved to London, I met on Snapchat because I had no, this is also quite a weird you story. You met on Snapchat. Right. So I had no friends. I just moved to London. I'm not from London. I You my, are from? Norwich. I am from Norwich, but I'd moved from Manchester because I was at uni there. Mm-hmm. So I've been living in Manchester for four years, moved to London. Didn't really have any friends because the only person I knew was my ex-boyfriend. He split up with me when I first moved to London. So I love that for me. Aim. Anyway, and I followed this girl who's my friend erin now Mm -hmm. still friends with her now and she seemed really fun so like we followed each other on snapchat and then she was like i'm in london who wants to go on a night out and i was like well you can come and stay with me like come let's go for a night out Uh i needed to make friends so i was just like cool do it would never do that nowadays because i literally let a stranger and her cousin it's really scary yeah come get ready with me we went out and they just never left for like two days what erin is this Erin Bedina. So. Yeah. Literally, she came to stay with her cousin Shay, who I'm still friends with as well. They came to stay for two days, didn't leave, and we've been friends ever since. But right. I would not recommend doing that because yeah, since then yeah. I have learned you can't trust people in your house. <laughs> You're 100% right. Because I had work the next day. So I was like, oh yeah, you guys stay here. Like, I'll leave you my keys. Who was I? What was I thinking? That is like really crazy. I know. Luckily, it didn't end badly. So we're all right. Yeah, but don't try that at home. This was the time... I used to live in Stratford and I, we were neighbors and I didn't even know. I know. I, like you all used to live there. I think it was around the Literally time where a lot everyone of YouTubers... used to live there. Now it's just, I think it's just me left. The last man standing. Last man standing. I can't, I can't leave the view. I love the view from my flat. Yeah, it's nice. But I'm going to live soon. No, it'd be sad. You have to have one last party. Me host a party. You had a Halloween party one year. I had one Halloween party. One. And I wasn't invited. Yeah. <laughs> Did I know you when I had the Halloween party? I don't think. I actually don't think. Yeah, I think so we may do have done, me. but not like proper not friends. Like, okay. Not like now. Okay. We've come so far. You've come so far. Look at you. You're big time. Whatever. And you have. Uh, to be fair, since then, since when I came around to use your wife, you've done so much. I always tell people how proud I am of you and how. I don't know many people, if any people that work harder than you, like your work ethic is like second to none. Thank you. That means a lot. And you will, you will actually go out of your way to message me that as well. Just every now and again. And I did that the me, other day. I was like, me smile. hey, you're the best. Keep going. For no reason. Is this year I'll check my thing and you've just messaged me something really nice. I literally did it the other day. Like when some, I'm, I'm about giving people their flowers while you, you still can, while they can still smell them. Yeah. So preach. I've really started trying to do that more and more recently. So if something comes to my mind and I think of it, and I'll say it there and then. All right, why wait? Exactly. Tomorrow's never promised. Am I right, Marth? He's not like, Marth up. is Shush. there preaching. He's not about... mic'd up. <laughs> he's not mic'd up. He's there preaching. No, I love that. Thank you for coming. Thank you for and having joining me. me. We are going to talk about games, mm-hmm. but I've tailored it to you. 
So I've got like a few games that we're going to play. Oh, well, not God. games, but like things we're going to talk about. Okay. But before we get into that, I always ask the guests, what are their three favorite games of all time? I hate this question. I hate this question. I hate this question. It is a hard question. If you had to pick. There's so many. There's so many. Okay. I'm going to just pick games that are quite iconic for me. Yep. I have lots of memories. We're not going to do sports games because, you know, sports. Like I love football. Everyone knows that. You love football. Mm-hmm. Um, I have lots of fun memories of playing Simpsons Hit and Run. Yep. I played this recently because you, you did it on your channel, didn't you? I did you? a playthrough like yeah. a couple years back as well. Really, I did it. Re- really I did game. one video recently because I got my PS2 out, and then I ordered Simpsons Hit and Run because I was like, yeah. I have to. I ordered Guitar Hero as well. Guitar Hero is good, and I so I'm waiting guitar. for it to arrive at the moment. How long have you been waiting? Only a few days. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, Simpsons Hit and Run is up there. Um, have, before we move on, have you seen that uh, there was a fan or like a fan who's a developer who's made sort of a reincarnation of what? Well, like a remastered version? Yeah, of what it would look like. You can't actually play it, but it's on YouTube. So See, what it would look like. So this is what I was going to say. So my next game that's really up there. Do I have to stick to three? You could do four. I'll okay. allow you one more. Um, Bully Scholarship Edition. <gasps> I don't know if you've ever played that game. Was this on PS2? <sighs> I want to say, yeah. and you would run around with you. Were you a kid, like a school kid? School kid, yeah. I used to play this with my friend. Yeah, so I did a playthrough of that not long ago as well. Amazing, what a game. great game, amazing game. And someone's actually done a a remastered version on Unreal Engine Two. Is it Unreal Engine Two or Unreal Engine? I don't know, but they did a remastered version that looks sick. So that's up there, and then oh, Modern Warfare Two, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare Two one of the games that got me really into gaming like mm-hmm. online gaming with my friends got me involved like I, ch- I jumped on call of duty for a little bit i was stinky at that nothing nothing quite hits like the memory of the day i ordered modern warfare 2 and it turned up a day early before release and i rushed home from school and josh had his his copy waiting at home and we just jumped on and we started playing call of duty i remember that day like so vividly mm-hmm. and it's really really sad when i think about it because like i feel like kids now and this is how i'm getting old kids now don't get that experience of release day of a game no because i remember when gta 5 came out and people go midnight yeah, and queue I, outside games i pre-ordered online because i was like i'll be efficient it will turn up on the day it was delayed yeah and then one day i was in tesco at like 2 a.m don't know why i was in tesco at 2 a.m but it was on the 24 hour ones mm. and there was people queuing to get gta 5 honestly it was a whole experience buying a game yeah. and i feel like you don't get that with new releases these days which is really sad like you can literally digital, just download isn't it, it. Yeah. yeah you don't get that i remember manchester market street which is the high street mm-hmm. i think black ops 2 or something black ops had come out mm. call of duty and there was people queue in all the, the queues way down. were massive Crazy. massive you used to see tweets about it and everything and then there's one more game that i love and it's a weird it's what, uh, do you know about telltale it's a telltale game no. Do you know about Telltale games? No. Okay. Telltale's The Walking Dead. It's okay. like a story mode game, decision based. And that game is probably the game that had my had me emotionally invested the most. Mm-hmm. Like immersed in that. Played all, I think there was five seasons in total of it. And honestly, the storyline is incredible. See, for me, that's my favorite games are like RPGs. So I love a storyline yeah. that's what like and here we go every episode i mentioned final fantasy 7 this mm-hmm. is my time i know you're a big final fan yeah i fan. literally mention it every episode and people are probably sick of me but it was the storyline that gripped me like yeah. I, i've cried playing that game just because i'm into it it's kind of like anime and, and she I, doesn't cry a lot i don't cry a lot but i have cried playing final fantasy 7 and i have cried playing the sims when my dog died so yeah. <laughs> not laughing at the dog um <laughs> yeah i love those games they're like a, a variety as well because you've mm. got Call of Duty, obviously for the memories mainly. Mm-hmm. I would say the nostalgia. That was a lot of nostalgia. Yeah, my game's all nostalgia because yeah. it's actually the way it made me feel, as opposed to like, would I play it now? Probably yeah, yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. probably play Final Fantasy or Zelda every day. Yeah, but it's the way like I emotionally connect to the game. Yeah, is what makes it. And honorable mentions, if we're sticking sports games in there. 
PES 5 and FIFA 09. FIFA 09 was like the first big step into, what was it, 360 movement. You could move anywhere, right? Before it was kind of like arrow directionally. Yeah. That was like revolutionary. And that was the first FIFA game that like really just sucked me in fully. Mm -hmm. So yeah, honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. I think my honorable mentions. I just have ones like, have you ever played- Final Fantasy 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Final Fantasy 9 was really good actually. <laughs> have you ever played the Getaway Black Monday? Oh, I always I played about it. This one. It was based in London, so it was a I London feel like map. I have PS2. It was a London map. You can I think you can dart between two roles. You can either be the police, who yeah, are char like charging, who are like chasing, chasing the criminals, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you could be the criminal. No, I feel well. like I definitely played that game. There was that game, and there was another game that was London based. I can't remember where it was. The Italian Job, I remember. Was it which Italian was PlayStation Job? PlayStation One. That was a really old one, so. But what we're really screaming out for is GTA in London. We are. That's what we're screaming out for, but apparently it's not gonna it's happen. City, apparently it? it's looking like Cuba vibes. But then I, I saw that it's a female main character mm -hmm. loosely based on Bonnie and Clyde's story. Mm -hmm. And it's based in the fictional city of Miami, which is Vice City. Yeah. So maybe it's between Miami and Cuba or I think wherever. so, I think so. I, I'm, not, I'm not mad at that. But I want to see it in London, man. And have have you seen that? I feel like they're going to be more less like violence and more sensible. What? Unless I read that somewhere and it's a horrible rumor, because that's kind of obviously that's it's not great having the all game. the violence. But that's what gripped people to GTA. Was, it's it was literally outrageous. called Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. So I hope they don't make it too. Don't make tame. it too PG. The whole point of that game is to escape from reality and you're just ruining it definitely right i have some well obviously we all know your incredible clothing brand ill vision shout out what i'm you, shy you're shy it yeah. isn't it's incredible i wear it a lot you do Quality thank you amazing. so much thank you i actually looked up the well not the top but just like the most memorable fashion collaborations with games because i feel like nowadays a lot of fashion companies are like oh we want to target a certain demographic mm -hmm. let's do gaming because mm -hmm. they want to get the younger audience so we're going to talk through a few of them okay and react so the first one is playstation and balenciaga i don't know if you saw but they did a collaboration it was around the time where the ps5 came out have you got any pictures i have a photos um if anyone could see it's basically just a normal t-shirt with the ps5 logo and then there's balenciaga i did see that shirt so it was slightly controversial because the t-shirt actually cost more than the console of the ps5 itself so a t-shirt was 675 dollars and a hoodie was 875 dollars and the console itself we all know is kind of what 350 450 what, about 400 pounds so maybe like 450 500 dollars yeah so and that's crazy and if you ask me i'd rather have the console than the t-shirt i can't lie so so would i but also it's just literally the balenciaga logo on a playstation 5 t-shirt i want my logo to be worth that much because people definitely bought that mm -hmm. that's crazy to me i feel like balenciaga troll people sometimes because they will release like a trainer. it's like what can we get away with yeah and people will buy it i'm gonna jump on that vibe no I, i'm not i'm not everything that i produce will be high quality don't worry exactly i'm worth the money you are worth the money Aww. but i'm <laughs> But I'm just, I don't know. If you're trying to target a demographic, which is gamers who tend to be younger, mm -hmm. they're not going to have $675 necessarily. Listen, that there is for the rich kids. It's for the rich kids. And also I'd rather get that 675 and buy like 11 different games or however much you could buy. I don't know how much there games you go. cost now. Also, do you remember back in the day when games cost like 20 quid? You could go to game, the shop, I would trade in my old games, get some money off, and you get a new Sims expansion pack for nineteen ninety nine. Those were the good days. Mm. I remember when it went up to forty pounds, and everyone was like, "Oh, this is a bit expensive." Yeah. And now it's like now seventy, it's like, it's eighty like pounds for a, a game. Mental. Eighty pounds. And is that like, inflation, or are they taking the piss? I think that it's a combination of just things being more expensive. Eighty pounds for a game. It's too much. Do you know what I was researching the other day? You know how games now are probably about 
I I reckon gigabytes wise, they're pushing two hundred these days mm-hmm. for a game. Yeah, which to is, download like a a decent size. Yeah, it's about two hundred. Yeah, gig. and they, I read something like the Atari, which is one of the first consoles, right? Mm-hmm. Had internal storage of one megabyte because you used to have memory cards, but Do you one remember the megabyte. PlayStation memory cards. Do you know, the little ones. Oh, you had sometimes the I can ones. even afford them. Yeah, so when I was playing a game, I'd have to leave my PlayStation on overnight. To Ooh, not lose yeah. my save. So you wouldn't lose your save. Yeah. But then you had the little like eight meg memory cards. Yeah, and I had, in. did you have the see-through ones that were like, I had a red see-through yeah, one. So you see all the wires on the inside. Yeah, it was those are so cool. Oh my gosh. I remember having a see-through PlayStation 2 controller as well. Yes, You could see I all the, this one. the circuits inside. Oh my gosh. I'm when the pink PlayStation Slim came out and I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. I really wanted it. But I always had the, the OG. The OG chunky one. The chunky, yeah good times good times my i found all my old games because my parents moved house recently so i was going back going through everything and i found my ps1 memory card and it was one megabyte that's crazy yeah that wouldn't even store an mp3 song i know it wouldn't even be my word document now you know what i mean yeah what's one megabyte it's not even like a photo is more is more than one megabyte generally yeah it's not it's not even even a thumbnail. thumbnail A That's YouTube crazy. thumbnail couldn't even fit on a, a memory card or an Atari. But if my memory card corrupted, it felt like my whole life had gone. Mine did that once. <gasps> I actually remember. So Game Boy, mm-hmm. uh, Pokemon Red, I think. And I had Pokemon Blue. My sister had Red. I found mine, Game Boy Color, when I was in sick form. So it'd been out for a while at this time. Mm-hmm. Me and my friend both were playing. I got really far. I feel like I maxed out a lot of my Pokemon. Mm-hmm. And then we decided to, you know, where you could play against someone, but you had to put the wire. The wire, yeah. So yeah. we did this on a train once. So we had both of our wires. We played each other. I unplugged it and my game got corrupted. And to this day, I blame her for it. It wasn't her fault. It was probably just an error. But I'd, I'd put probably about 100 or so hours into that. And it was just oh. like game corrupted. Heartbreak. And there um, was nothing you could do. I'm just thinking of all the struggles I used to have playing video games now. Like when your disc um, got a little bit scratched and it couldn't load. You had that PlayStation loading screen. Take it out. and you, Yeah. Wipe it for ages. But if you scratched your disc, it was game over. With the cartridges for Nintendo, Sometimes, if you blew on it, it was fine. Yeah. yeah it blew the dust. You're fine. But I feel like if you scratched the disc, you could get away with it to a certain point. But wherever yeah. the scratch was in the game because i had it with gta san andreas i had to go and buy a whole new game sometimes i polished it enough that i'd get away with it but other times it was just like nah it's not happening and did you ever move your console while the disc was in i think i moved my xbox 360 once while the disc was in and it just shreds the disc you can't Ooh, pick it up it's i didn't do that oh, you, and you could hear it going yeah you yeah hear it, it, it fucks it up big yeah. time <sighs> the struggles back in the day I know, we don't have them no more we didn't and you know what i used to do as well I used to get walkthroughs. So I would play Tomb Raider, for example. But mm. I'm the type of person when I play a game, I want to make sure I get everything. I don't like missing any yeah, in, yeah. any hidden Easter, Easter eggs, eggs or whatever. So I'll get the walkthrough online because I just enjoyed following like all the instructions. Mm-hmm. But I didn't print it all the time. So I would just write down like cheat codes onto a piece of paper. So for GTA San Andreas, and I'll keep it in the the disc like case. Yeah. And each time I'd get it out and I had all my handwritten cheat codes for GTA San Andreas. No way. I remember it was R1, R2, L1, R2, up, down, up, what's left, that for? down, right. That was a uh, weapons cheat. I could do it now and you go around. I remember doing cheats to spawn in helicopters on GTA 4. Jetpack cheat. Yeah. Iconic. And you just reminded me of like all the all the games used to come with the little instruction manual and I used to read for it, learning all the yeah. little buttons and, and stuff. And all the big map. You unfold the map. It's the little things, the nostalgia. I'm so happy right now. Yeah, same. I love talking about nostalgia. Right, back to fashion though. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, we went on a Majorly tangent. sidetracked. There was a Louis Vuitton and League of Legends collab. So... Uh, there was a stylish. What, L-O-L-V? Yeah, it, I think it was in the game, but they also made products. So some of these will be just stuff that they put in game. But this one in particular, there was a, a stylish League of Legends themed biker jacket, which was p- priced at $5,650. Um, as pointed out by a fan on, fan on Reddit who did the maths, that jacket might actually cost more than all the skins and characters in the game combined. 
So five thousand six hundred dollars for a jacket. Wait, the skins and characters cost money. I assume so. This is what this website has told me. Because I've not played League of Legends. Before, yeah, I've so. heard that is a dark hole, deep dark rabbit hole to get into. Like once you're in there, it's like. Well, yeah. Have you seen the, the crowds on the esports that League yeah. of Legends? I remember crazy. I had friends that they started playing that game and I just didn't hear for them for like months. I think Cal Freezy said that Freezy he played had it. The, yeah. Freezy and Lux both got sucked into it for a bit. Yeah. Uh, apparently it just devours your soul, takes up all your time. I mean. So I was like, I'm not touching it. This is why I avoid like The Sims, for example. I actually can't play it because I know if I get a good storyline going, it's over for me. That's it. You're I'll be up till four in the done. morning playing it. Wow. I know. What game makes me do that? I don't think any game makes me do that these days. See, that's what I struggle with these that's days. It's really sad. I don't know if it's because we we have like responsibilities and mm. things, but I haven't had it for ages. Ages, yeah. Where um, I'm just like, I, I wake up early. You know, did you ever get it when you got a new game back in the day? And I would literally wake up at seven in the morning and be like, oh my God, I can play it. Yeah, on school holidays. Yeah. Or whenever my parents are out of the house, grab the console, slap it on the tv my sisters are complaining they can't get a remote and watch their program sorry mm. tv's mine while mum and dad are gone we're playing <laughs> fifa today yeah <sighs> these were the days basically what we're saying is we just want to go back to i just want to go back just one day two days a week a week a week a week is good like a half term yes oh my gosh half term was my schedule for half terms was obviously i went to boarding school so for me being at home you went was to like, boarding school yeah i spoke about this before i'm sure i've told you this Anyway, when I was 11 till I was 18, I was at boarding school. Mm -hmm. So I could go home on the weekends. But for me, half term was like, you get a week at home. Mm -hmm. So my half term setup was basically during the day I'll game. And then during the evening, I'll be on MSN talking to my friends till like two you, in the morning. You're opening up another it. can of worms. Don't get me started on MSN. We're not MSN doing was that. great. No, we're not doing that. Next fashion one. Okay. Uh, Burberry <laughs> did a collaboration with Honor of Kings, which I haven't played before. I think Honor it's a mobile Kings. game. I think it might be a mobile game, but oh. this was really cool, actually. They made this outfit in-game, which I'll show to a the burp, camera. That, that looks hard. It's a sick outfit. That looks cold. Yeah, Burby re released exclusive designs for the mobile game, Honor of Kings. Two new skins were available for the game's heroine, Ye I'm going to butcher this name, Yeo, I'm guessing, with looks inspired from the brand's spring summer 2021 collection, which I think is very clever. That's really cool. Because it's not like you're charging the consumer five thousand pound dollars for a jacket mm. it's just like here's our collection in a game which i think is sick it's very very cool yeah yeah i think stuff in game is is better for the gaming audience it's easier for them to appreciate rather than going out and buying a fucking five thousand dollar jacket yeah definitely uh the sims have done a few mm -hmm. i think they've done they've done an ikea collaboration before I remember that sims ikea they've done a machino most recently they had so basically they did machino in the game so you can get like a swimming costume with machino on Very it and things cool. like that but they also made machino hoodies with that was sims inspired sick it was quite sick i appreciated it we have pictures i didn't get a picture of that one actually uh, sorry about that h and m did a collaboration with animal crossing nice i basically haven't got pictures of all of them because like it Some takes a lot to print you know okay just you. saving my ink cartridges mm -hmm. but animal crossing did a collaboration with no h&m did one with with animal crossing they built a special island because i think they were basically doing sustainability so basically you would travel to the island mm -hmm. in animal crossing and there was a recycling loop so you could take your old clothes put them into the recycling and make new clothes from it that's good yeah i like that we're that encouraging sustainability exactly i've never played animal crossing have you, I played it during lockdown because it came out mm. and like it was the thing to do. Worth it? I quite enjoyed it. Should I try it? Yeah, it does. I feel like you, once you know what you're doing, you properly get into it and your island's really sick. But for me, I was so basic. I never know what I'm doing on these games. I planted a few trees and sold some turnips and I thought I was sick. Nice. Yeah. And I remember Meg, Reeves, Reeves girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah during lockdown we hadn't actually met in person at this point we're friends now but she was like do you meet anyone in person 
I, I do eventually. <laughs> I'm just like a recluse. I do actually eventually, but obviously it was lockdown, so I couldn't. But she messaged me on Twitter and she was like, I've got a witch's hat. Like I can gift it to you in the game. Mm. So she was so cute. Like she traveled to my island and just gifted me this witch's hat. That's so my cute. character had like a witch outfit from then. Aww. Love that. That was the witch. Yeah, it was very cute. Uh, Xbox collaborated with Adidas and I actually have a photo of this one. So they made the new Adidas Forum Tech Boosts in the first ever Xbox sneaker available to purchase globally. It was quite cool. It's basically Adidas with the green from when the When was that? Because I never got those. That was not too long ago. I haven't got the dates, but I know it was probably in the last few years. I'm looking at you, Gil. Yeah, Gil. We never spoke about our Adidas. I was going to say we're Adidas buddies. We're Adidas buddies. We've been on a bus together on the side of a bus. We were on the London Underground. We were on billboards, Park, Croydon, billboards everywhere. Everywhere. We were in Liverpool. People were sending me photos of we're us in Liverpool. We were in Malaysia. We were in Malaysia. People messaged me saying, oh, you guys are in Malaysia. You guys are here. You guys. I've never been to these places, but there's giant posters of us That's there. That's incredible. It's crazy. Do you know it's actually surreal? Because I'm there getting on the tube because obviously when I do radio, it's in central London mm -hmm. every day and I'm just walking past myself and I'm like, this is weird. Nuts. It's like an out of body experience. experience. Yeah, yeah. And like, I think it was really surreal for me when my like family went to visit it, like my nephew and brother, um, my mum and dad went to visit it with my little sister and they're just posing next to this giant picture of me in the stores. Even when we, when me and Marth go past the stores and we see it, it's like, whoa. Yeah, because you're on the front of a lot of JD, like the JD ones. You were literally in front of every store. Was so I was weird. in Manchester because I was up there working. So I went to go see like what the campaign looked like in store. And literally the whole of JD was just like Toby. It was like yeah. you walk in, there's just pictures of Toby everywhere. The maddest one was when I was in London. I can't remember where I was driving back from. But I was parked up at lights and I see this bus come and park up next to me. And then there's a giant you and a giant me just on the bus. <laughs> and then the lights go green and I'm looking at the bus like, oh, this is so crazy. This is crazy. And I drove the wrong way down a one-way road. Oh, no. But luckily no one was there. Oh, sick. So I was okay. like, I just stopped myself and then I pulled it back. But yeah, <laughs> it was great. I couldn't believe it. It was just me and you on this bus. I never saw the buses. Never. Yeah, so I would, like, people sent me the photos, but my, I didn't myself see I was on a bus. I was gutted. I saw like three. Or, I saw it like three or four times. No way. But the Hopefully box we'll park one bus. was sick. That the was box massive. park one. I never got to go to that one. Yeah, that was that was crazy. But life's crazy. I know. And we did the advert together. That was fun. I thought. Did you see my little pet? Because obviously I was shooting. Yeah. And in this advert that me and Toby are in, I have to turn and like blow a kiss to what is now my CGI pet, which is mm -hmm. really cute. But when we were shooting it, there was literally nothing, nothing there. there yeah. They're like, can you just blow a kiss and pretend that there's something there? I was like, yeah, okay. It was yeah. literally just like a metal bench. I hate that stuff. You did well though. It looks natural. It looks real. Do you know what was really cool? Which is the end of the advert, I think, or some part of the advert was when we we're on the tube mm, well, and it came out looking sick. But at the time it was so awkward it to was shoot. So awkward. Because we had to like, we had to coordinate our heads to do that. Yeah. And we had to pretend we were like feeling the impact of the motion of the space vehicle yeah whatever you i can't tell it. you how many times we had to do that one little scene as well it's a lot it's a lot good times oh wow we're friends. this is so whole we're friends guys adidas friends next up i have a quiz for you this is fun I'm just gonna put you on the spot it's like a gaming quiz okay there's no prize oh so it's well i have no incentive to play now it's just bragging rights to say that you're good at, you that. know everything about gaming. I know nothing, but run it. Let's go. Okay, question number one is, what is the name of the final course in all Mario Kart video games? So the last... I don't know, but I'm going to say Rainbow most... Road. Yeah, you got it right. Yes! Every game. But I really like Rainbow Road because yes! you'd think that last level is technically the hardest. Yeah. But I've always liked Rainbow Road. Oh, sick. You got it right. Come on. Right. What was the best selling video game in December 2017? So that is five years ago now. Minecraft. No, that is not correct. Not even. No. December, GTA 5? Mm-mm. 
2017, so... December 20... Just December 2017. What was happening in 2017? What was I doing? I was still working full-time. 2017 is a myth to me. <laughs> Can I have a clue? You've mentioned the franchise today. I don't remember what I did But you haven't mentioned a ago. specific game from it. Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. It is a Call of Duty. But which 2017. one? 2017. 2017. Marv's trying to give you clues. You can't cheat. Call of Duty Black Ops 3? No, that's incorrect. 4? Did you... It's... It is World War Two. Oh. Call, Call of Duty, Duty World, World War Two. Because you know Call of Duty is normally dropping just November, right? Yeah. So I'm guessing that that's right. Oh. It's Christmas. You know what I mean? Call oh. of Duty World War Two. Okay, the Kingdom of Hyrule is the main setting for which classic video game franchise? Legend of Zelda. Yes. How are you guessing these? I feel like you you act like I'm making you guess educated it. guesses. Honestly, when you said classic, I was like Zelda, Hyrule, and Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, great game, Zelda. Love Zelda. Okay, what 2014 game gives you the nickname douchebag? So your character in the game is called douchebag. 2014. 2014. Uh. South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> it's, so, it's definitely South Park. It's the stick of truth. The stick of truth is that one. The fractured butthole is the second one. No, I knew it. I'll give me that one, please. I'll give you a point. I'm half impressed. a point, half a point, half a point. Zero point I played five. that game. That's why. I've never played South Park game. Oh, there, but there South Park's my favorite. Well, I never really watched. I, I'm not really a South Park watcher, so I feel like I missed a lot of the jokes that they made. Oh, it's iconic. So that's why I didn't bother playing the second one properly because I was like, this is a waste of time. So what was the second one? The fractured butthole. The fractured butthole. Well, this but one the fractured was a butthole. Stick, stick of, of truth. truth is so good though. I had a great is time it good? playing that. I'm yeah. gonna play it. You Fudge. Me. Well, you you still got half a point. Half a point. But Impressive. I should have got it. And you didn't even need a clue because I was going to give you one as well. Okay, next one. When was the first Call of Duty video game released? In what year? COD 1. The first ever Call of Duty. 2005. Six. No. Four? No. Seven. 2003. What? Mm-hmm. The first one was 2003. I don't know which one. It was obviously Call of Duty 1, I guess. Yeah. Oh man, two thousand and three. I, I started high school in two thousand and three, which is going to make me feel old to some people. Because have you realised, people are born in the noughties now that are adults. No, there's twenty I year olds know. that are born in two thousand and two. Also, you don't look your age. You look way younger. Thank you. I'm clinging on to it for a few more years. I think in two years it's going to hit me. When people, when you, people like guess how old you are, what do they say? Twenty something. I get twenty four, all the time. Do you? Always 24. I assume most people are mid 20s and then I find out they're not. Most, like some people are 19 and 20 years old now. I'm 29, I'm so old. I'm older than you, so. Yeah, but. but I like, I like it. We have experience in life, but we're still young. What? Yeah, let's In, yeah, in yeah. YouTube land, we are old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get yeah, called yeah, yeah. mother. People call me mum and mummy. This is my name. Hmm. So, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Exactly. Mm. I also, people tell me I wear too much makeup. Then the other day I wasn't wearing any. And someone's like, are you okay? Do you feel, are you ill? Oh. No, can't <laughs> win. Can never win. I think your makeup looks nice. Thank you. I actually think I don't wear too much makeup. You don't wear too I much makeup. I just wear however much I want to wear. Okay, next question. Rangers tried to sign which superstar after Alex McLeish was alerted to his ability through the famous video game Football Manager. So which superstar did Rain Rangers try and sign after, I'm assume, assuming Alex McLeish is the manager, was alerted to his ability in the famous video game Football Manager. They tried to sign him. Tried to sign this person. This is so... Because of Football Manager. They don't specify what year this was Can in. Can I get a nationality? Yes. Because this is it's, it's football. It's, the database is ridiculous. But just try and guess a superstar. like Super, superstar. Superstar. Wayne Rooney. No. Okay. It, it's more. Superstar. <laughs> Neymar. No. It's 
more of a superstar than that. More of a superstar than Neymar? Yeah. Messi? Yes. So they tried to sign, but it doesn't. The thing is, it doesn't specify the year because imagine it was like very early on in Messi's career before he became a superstar. I didn't know this. This is this is news to me. Because it insinuates, like if if Alex McLeish didn't know who Messi was when he's a superstar, like you should probably know that if you're the manager of Rangers. Yeah. But I'm guessing it was quite early on in Messi's career, and they were like, "Do you know who's like really good in this game? You should try and sign him." Oh, mad. Fun fact, I actually discovered Messi on, I think it was Pe- it was either Pez 4 or Pez 5. He was a youngster then, and I scored a 50-yard goal on the game against my brother Manny, and I was like, this guy is sick. And next thing I know, he's just in the Barcelona first team, and he's doing all this. So I take credit for, for Messi's career. Time. Barcelona. Oh, he was? Yeah, but he was just like a bench player. Oh. But me and, me and Manny, we used to just experiment with players. We had like so many different like Evo tournaments. And yeah, Messi. So was you a, could say, arguably, you discovered Messi. I had discovered Messi. Not I was Barcelona. the scout. Not, I mean, he was at Barcelona already, so yes, they did <laughs> kind of discover him. But I realized his potential before most of the world. I like that. Fifty yard goal. Fifty. I remember it like it was yesterday. Have you ever played football manager? Yes. Were you proper into it? Like, how far did your team get? There's some seasons where we went like six, seven years into the game. Me and Manny. Do you um, think that, because I've seen, I think it's Mourinho who mm. said that he played football manager or someone anyway, like f- genuine football managers mm. say that is actually quite useful to play it football It wouldn't manager. surprise me. There's so much data that goes into that game. Like they do so much research on players and even down to like the scouting and the training and and players like special abilities and weaknesses like there's so it's so in depth mm-hmm. that it'll be hard not to make use of that like it's useful like why not try it yeah, obviously it's not gonna be 100 percent accurate but you can get something from it yeah data I've... is a big part of football the modern game like players teams staff they all do their research into like who formations things like that yeah even as far as like goalkeepers watching penalties where they've taken their last like 10 penalties which way they've gone or tiny things like I was chatting to Ben Foster about it when me and Manny shot with him. It's in his video, Manny's video. Mm. Um, just little mannerisms that they do before they go a certain way. Like this, all this information Psychology. is collected yeah. by people, like filmed, watched, analyzed, and then fed back to the players. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. Because I've, I, this is obviously different sports. It's basketball. But I was watching the winning time, the Lakers. Did you ever see it? It was on Sky. Mm-mm, and you sh- it. it's actually really good, even though it's dramatized and a few people have said it's in- inaccurate. But it's basically about the 80s and how they revamped the, the franchise of the Lakers and made mm-hmm. it into this whole, like, they invented courtside seating and all the shows and things like that to okay. make it like a, a, sh- a performance yeah. as opposed to just going to go watch sport. Yeah. And they got a, a coach in. And he had this whole like notepad where he was really calculated because he was like very logically, his brain was logical. Mm -hmm. So he brought a new formation of playing because he was literally like, he had these calculations all on his pages. And the players were like, we've never done this before. Like, why should we change it? And he was Mm. like, no, this will work. And then they won the championship. Championship, crazy. I know. I need to watch that. What's it called? Um, Winning Time, the Lakers. Winning Time, the Lakers. good. Even though like Magic Johnson and people have said not, not accurate, accurate but it I'll was, watch it's still it anyway. a good watch to be I'll fair watch it, i'll watch it okay next question on the quiz is where is the best where, why can't i talk where's the best place to meet wild pokemon so in the game where do you meet the most wild pokemon outside the gym um no it's in tall grass so you know in the game where you like where go through a patch tall gra- of the tall yeah grass. i thought he was being like more specific that's so generic like tall grass like what I would have said in the caves because when I've played those games and you're inside a cave, every two seconds, why is a Zubat? Like, I don't need nah, another Zubat. To- so many Zubats in the caves. But yeah, it is tall grass. Like, you just, I used to walk around in little circles until I found and they I used to do like, like ding, 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 like go up. you zigzag. Because if you need to get your level up, I'm trying to get as many. As many as you yeah. can. So cover every patch of grass. Yeah, that's Love what I that. used to do. Okay, final question in the quiz is I don't know how many, I haven't been keeping I think track I've got score. four right. Three what, and a half. what was the best selling gaming console in 2020 alone so just in the year 2020 when did the p5 come out i can't give you that information you're gonna have to figure it out for yourself 
best-selling gaming console just in 2020 the nintendo switch there you go you're smart because i think because lockdown lockdown made everyone get a switch lockdown i got two switches (laughs) (laughs) everyone got a switch because animal crossing came out yeah i feel like they were more affordable as well console they were newer you get the switch Lite, for example Mm -hmm. but do you remember ring fit the Nintendo yes. Ring Fit came out and that was sold out everywhere because there was yeah. no gyms. So everyone oh was trying to gosh. do the Ring Fit. I forgot about that. Wow. i got a lot of questions right. That I don't know. You were I didn't, quite good. I didn't expect to do that well. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? You knew a lot about gaming considering you, you used to play it. Well, I'm still terrible at games. YouTube. Don't even. I'm t- so bad. I mean, you're probably better than me. When are we going to play 2K again? <laughs> do you remember when we went? So we did this I can't remember what it was for. We were filming for something for you. And we were in the the, the city or the, what did it used to be the called? Park. The neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people were trolling us because my name online is Els the Witch. And yeah. I'm assuming they then clocked it was you. Yeah, mine was really obvious. Them. And people would just follow you around and they'd be waving in front of the things. It's a lot yeah. of hassle. It's a lot. I got kidnapped on GTA online a few times. How? Because I was like, I like the thrill of the, I like, do you know what someone was trying to they locked me in a store because i went to go get some snacks and they parked their car in front so i could not get out uh-huh. and then they were texting me being like get in the car and i was like okay because i was like well this is interesting like never do that by the way kids. no no in, not in real life but on gta online <laughs> i was like well li- like what's gonna happen mm. so i literally got in they just drove me around the world and then anytime i tried to get out the car they would just run me over and then I was like, I, t- I was texting them, were like, can you leave me alone? And they wouldn't. So then just, in the end, I just got back in the car and then just started driving around again. Changed servers in the end. Cause... That's what you should have done straight away, to be fair. But okay. Actually, I did not because I then got my friend Yinka to join the session. And Yinka. She, yeah, shout out to Yinka. And she came, this was during lockdown. She came to try and like kill the person. So she's uh-huh. there like trying to shoot the person to leave me alone. In the uh-huh. end, we then moved servers. That's cause... a real friend though. Shout out Yinka. Yeah called in the troops okay next i want to build i like this feature we're going to build your ideal game so if you had all the resources like money wasn't an object you could get all the development teams you wanted what firstly what kind of game would you make let's go where it was set where would you where would it be in the world would it be a new place that's a made-up world what kind of setting i'm not gonna lie my ideal game, I already have this. This is something I wish for for ages. So you see how we were just talking about the neighborhood on 2K? Yeah. I want that, but on FIFA, and you start off as like a 16 or 18 year old kid and you just build your profile. You start off with street ball and you get to go to shops and buy boots or go to the cage and level up your guy and then you get scouted by pros and then you go into the big stage it's like a a rpg football game where you literally just live your career but in like a kind of free mode that would be insane that would be sick because i've always thought 2k is really great because you have that element Mm -hmm. obviously you you play through from what college so Mm -hmm. it's not that young yeah but i've always thought that either fifa or whoever's missing a trick by not doing that but imagine starting off as like a seven eight year old yeah and you're just playing at school with your mates or it's like it's lunchtime and you're outside playing like on do you remember you used to play like on the netball court or whatever yep. it was like concrete concrete yeah five aside i've got there. a load of grazers on my legs from that <laughs> so you start there and then you probably join your first team mm-hmm. and then you get like as you said you get scouted yeah you could potentially join like one of these like Man United or if depending where the game's set. Sick idea, someone developed this. Someone developed this. And then you have to go through all, you know when you're doing your exams, so you're doing, you're playing, but then you probably have to sit your your exams and get your scholarships at the same time. Yeah, kind of balance life with- And then it's like, how do you progress to first team? Do you make it to the first team? And you go to little training sessions and do little drills. Like they have little elements of it that exist already, but I'm trying to see it on a massive scale. Yeah, I love that. if anyone has money and wants to put, that behind an idea then let me know that would be sick if you were to do that game where would you start would you be in london would you be elsewhere yeah 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 i'll start in east london i'll start in east london London. yeah what team or maybe i'll let you select between like three or four major cities yeah i think so i think london would be a good one because you got you could join sort of like 
a West Ham or then or you could do a Chelsea or Arsenal, Tottenham. Or, or even these. a local like Charlton or... That's, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Not, it doesn't even just have to be sort of Premier League. Mm. And then you could do Manchester definitely because there's a lot of places so there. So many clubs there, yeah. Yeah, no, that would be so sick. Ah, oh, make it happen. What team would you want to join the most if you were playing the game? Mm-hmm. I know you support United. Mm-hmm. That club needs saving. But realistically, if you're playing the game, what team would you want to be signed to? Stop fist pumping over there because it's not <laughs> your team. It's not your team. Is it my team? It's definitely not your team. Definitely not your team. <laughs> do you know in my career mode that I did, I do a player career mode on, on, on FIFA 22. I was just trying to get signed to the Premier League and I wanted Man United to sign me so bad and they wouldn't sign me. And then I got an offer from Man City and I was like, oh, do I do it? Do I do it? I ended up joining. It was the most, I don't understand why it was so painful, <laughs> but it's, I, I struggled. It's just the knowledge of it. Just me, my creative player being in a City shirt, I just felt, I didn't mind if we lost, but obviously I was still trying to win. But yeah, it was just weird. But anyway, who would I join? Who's got a good academy? Man City. No, 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 no. <laughs> West Ham have a decent academy, you know. West Ham. Southampton have a very, very strong academy too. Oh. Let's just say West Ham. Yeah, because you're East West London, Ham. you said, East London, right? yeah, 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 local. Yeah, like I'll that. do that. I like this. What would your main character be? Who would your main character be? Or would you do it so you could design the main character yourself or would you yeah, just I'll have create one myself. person I'll create myself and I'll become the main character start off as, as the little kid that people just ignore and then all of a sudden you can't ignore me because I've leveled up my skills I can play left foot right foot I've got pace I've got strength I can jump like you can't miss me mm-hmm. that's I love my vibe that. I'd like it I'd like to do it as a female as well certainly That'd be do sick. it bring, bring it up through like the being a little girl and being like seven or eight and then going up but you still play thing. cage football with the guys exactly. and you show them up yeah i, I like, like that, that. Yeah, yeah that's sick what would your theme tune be imagine like the opening sequence of the game where it starts uh, the way i'm sorry i'm hijacking your game idea which no is no this I is our game idea listen so if anyone the, wants to invest exactly i envision the opening sequence being like you're in the Premier League and you're winning, you're holding the trophy up and it's like all the celebrations and then it trails back and there's like a whole a rewind, rewind. Se- sequence and then it zooms, it's from like a bird's eye view on like a grass roots little, no, it's on the playground. So it's mm. going in and the like goes GTA in. style from Yeah, the and it starts and it's, then it zooms into you. Mm-hmm. What would the theme tune for that opening sequence be? Can I steal one from an old game? You what can. was the banging tune that was in FIFA Street? Was it? Stand up tall, dizzy rascal. On FIFA, the OG FIFA Street, I think it was. I think that would be so sick. I like that. Yeah, and then what is? There's another. There's another intro that I picture. It's from FIFA 04. Do you remember when the camera's chasing um like Armri and Del Piero? Do you remember that one? That one is cold. It's like a first person camera like chasing. It's so sick, so sick. I love that. I'll do that. Cinematic. Cinematic masterpiece. I enjoy this. This, we should um, develop games. Well, this my next question was about the rollout of the game. So mm-hmm. imagine you've got the game ready mm-hmm. and it's going to be the promotion tour. Okay. If you could have an advert, similar to what we did for Adidas. So you have the TV ad, you've got the billboards everywhere. If you could have five people to be involved in the advert, who would you pick? Cristiano Ronaldo has to be there. Ronaldinho has to be there. Mm-hmm. I don't care who else is there. Those two. They don't have to be footballers, though. They don't have to be footballers. No, it's just people. To be in the advert, who do I really care about? I'm not fussed. Other than them two, I'm not really fussed. Maybe like a music artist, anyone? Kanye West, and he can't pick which team he supports. So he's just like this, switching sides. He's confused. Yeah, he's confused. He could maybe (laughs) do the theme tune for the advert. Oh, yeah. Make Kanye's my favorite something. artist. So, yeah. Him. Okay. Kanye, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho. I need two more people. Hmm. Then me and you as Adidas ambassadors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Adidas throwing 
a hundred million to sponsor the game too. Yeah, only Adidas. And only again. Adidas. Did yeah. you see the Adidas collab they did with Rick and Morty? Rick and Morty. That's what I shot today. Yeah, the, for the campaign that you would. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And that is sick because I love Rick and Morty. I yeah. saw that. I was like, that is amazing. I love Rick and Morty as well. Mark's never seen Rick and Morty, a city guy, but I love Rick and Morty. Outrageous. Pickle Rick. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was Adidas X Speed Portal boots. And I tried the boots. The boots are actually cold. And love they it. look good on everyone. I like like, you know how some people wear boots and you're like, mm, those boots aren't really made for you. Whether you look like a flary player or not, the boots look nice on you, which I've never really seen with any boots before. But Okay, I need some then. Hope they make me look like Get some. I can Jump. actually play yeah. football. Message when. Gil. Gil. Do you see Gil got shouted out on Cal Freezy's podcast? Did he actually? <laughs> I can't remember what they said, but they, sh- they fired shots at him. What did they so, like, say? He what looks did they like say? a wrong'un. <laughs> His grown up looks like a wrong'un. He looks like he didn't care. And I think his mum then texts him being like, who said that about you? Oh my gosh. That's so bad. Bless him. Shout out to Gil. I love you, Gil. And then Shout Chip was you. like, who is Gil? And Cal Freezy's like, you're not. You're in the wrong circles. Yeah. He's not in the right circles to know. Actually, shout out Gil because he was the guy that actually got me involved with Adidas from the start. Like, I think it was, what, three years ago now? When was it? Four years ago. It was 2018. 2018, he hit me up. He was like, oh, I've got X amount of budget for this campaign like i'd really love to get you on and i think someone else had dropped out of the campaign and he pitched me I despite me not even knowing him i like him yeah because he's he's a big gamer himself yeah so he's done really well with integrating or bringing more sort of the youtube gamer crew for sure for sure in because i think obviously leeds is adidas yeah leeds is adidas yeah simon supports leeds mm-hmm. so i think he's like taken him to a few games yep. as well something like that he took Nico to the Champions League final with Adidas. I've still never been to a Champions League final. I've been invited four times and never been able to go. I went to the, the one in France. To see who? Liverpool. What about your team? And Real. Don't even. <laughs> do, who? Sorry. Who's who's won the Premier League twice in a row? Do you want to? Do you want to we go down a, this route? We were route, talking Toby. about Champions League, so okay. If we're gonna talk history of Premier League, then well, I can. His, the key word there. Hmm. His story. You said who past. won? One is past when, tense. When did you last win? One is past tense. I have a champion. Listen, we're not having this discussion right now because my team League. stinks right now. Okay, so. let's move on. Yeah. I'm going to get trolled in the comments anyway because <laughs> City in the Champions League. Anyway, Toby, I'll ask you one last question. Okay. It's very important. Mm-hmm. If you were on a desert island and you had a console and one game only for the rest of your life, you can't play any other game. Ah! That's a really difficult question. So it needs to be something you're not going to get bored of. You could pick it up every day and just play it and not get bored. What are you going to pick? Fall Guys. <laughs> Fall Guys? Yeah. Just forever? Because it will take me forever to get a crown. Have you not got one yet? I can't win that game. <laughs> I won it. I did it during lockdown and I was really? like, I need to get a crown. I won I've, it I've got and I've couple, never played it since. I've got a couple, but they've never felt like mine. I want one where I'm like, yeah, I smoked everyone. Everyone. I'm getting smoked by like eight-year-olds. There's definitely eight-year-olds. Yeah, it's little. embarrassing. But yeah. I, genu- I genuinely won the crown. I have not played that game since. What, you was like this? That's my retirement. I was like, that That's is the me. peak. I'm peaking. Yeah, I don't need to play it. I think I've maybe played it once or twice more because my friend was like, it's actually got good again. Yeah, no, what game? What game? What game? What game? I picked The Sims. Just Sims because is a good shout. you can keep, it's endless. Mm. As long as you've got a good storyline in your head, then you can play it. Do you know what? You, your, my safest option is actually GTA 5. That like game's it. been out for over 10 years now. Nearly 10. Is it nearly 10 or over 10? Yeah, yeah. It'll be 10 next year. Was it 2013 it came out? Mm-hmm. That game's been out for nearly 10 years now. And, and it's not boring. And the graphics still look like I went very, to start because I solid. like the actual game as outside of GTA Online. Mm. I just start the missions all over again. Yeah, you could play it so many different ways and make so many different choices that it's like, yeah. GTA, GTA 5, legendary. Love that game. Well, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's been a blast. I could chat all day. I know. We could chat so about could I. but you're tired, so I'm gonna let you I'm always tired. You though. need a, you need a nap. I need a nap, an injection of sugar, and maybe another nap. Love that. What you, what sugar are you gonna have? I would pick Harry Bow, 
fun mix in from Harry the fridge. Harry Bro Tang From the fridge that needs to be. Is that put, a thing? Fridge, have you, do you Harry keep Bro. your Harry Bro in the fridge? No. Have you ever tried it? No. Okay, put them in the fridge. Really? You back it? I back it. It makes them more chewy when you eat them. It's so good. Trust me. Okay, I'll report back on Twitter and let you know how this goes. Amazing. Thank you for joining me. Thank, Thank you for everyone me. for listening. You know where to find Toby, I'm assuming, but if not, Tobe Jizzle on everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so weird saying that. Is that right? <laughs> it is right. So it's don't laugh right, at me. It's it your name. It sounds mad. Yeah. I didn't pick it. It just happened. Okay. Well, that's his name on everything. I'm not repeating it. Thanks everyone for listening. Bye. Bye.